delivery is clockwise, last phone draw, you have one minute.
We're closing in on playoff time here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin at the Eau Claire Clearing Club. Site of the 2024 U21 USA Curling Men's and Women's National Championships. Eight men's teams and eight women's teams competing for the right to represent the United States at the Junior Men's World Championships next season and Junior Women's World Bs. Here you see the standings going into this final round robin game for the women. Giroux and Johnson tied at the top at 6-0. and oh. Pekowitz at 4-2. and two. Chapman 3-3. Three and three. Berg and Vio, View 2-4. Shiel 1 and 5 and Berg 0 oh and 6. The matchups for this final draw on sheet A, Claire View and Julia Pekowitz. On sheet B, for the number one seed, Ali Giroux taking on Allery Johnson. Sheet C, Naya Berg will play Gracia Berg. And on sheet D, our feature matchup, Ava Chapman taking on Miranda Shiel. Here you see the team, Chapman with that three and three record. Taking on Shield, got their first win yesterday to get to one and five. And here's a look at Team Chapman with Skip, Ava Chapman, third, Jessica Margan. Second, Claire Chapman, lead, Francis Chapman, alternates, Lila Farwell, and coached by both Ross Littman and Aiden Oldenburg. Four-team Scheel, Skip Miranda Scheel, third Bella Hagenbaugh, second Riley Kraft, lead May Hagenbaugh, and they are coached by Connor Kaufman. I believe Bella will be skipping once again today. Miranda Scheel playing third. Tyler George joined by former junior national champion and world silver medalist Andrew Stepera. Andrew, first time in the booth with me, not your first time doing it, period, but... Really glad to have you here, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, excited to watch some great curling today and watch these two teams put on a show. Yeah, the playoff uh, seating is all but set on the women's side. That game between the undefeated teams at 6-0. and oh, The winner will be the one seed, the loser the two. And for the 3-4 game, uh, we know that Chapman is already locked into this four seed, regardless of the finish. So this game, solely for keeping momentum going into the playoffs. But first time that we've seen Team Shatman for this feature game. There you see both coaches in the building, Ross Littman and Aiden Oldenburg behind the sheet. Team Shatman throwing the red stones, having hammer. I had a 16-3. That's, that's okay, Francis. That's Francis fine. Shatman. First stone, a little that's adrenaline nice. going. On the side of the camera, it's Heads up going through. And a guard started things off for Team Scheel with May Hagenbaugh lobbing down lead stones. Andrew doesn't seem that long ago we were watching you guys in the World Championships uh, for juniors. It's probably longer than I think, <laughs> but I know I remember watching with, uh, I think Mike Moore was uh, there with us. We were out at a local watering hole cheering loudly for one of your games. We actually got removed from the facility for yelling. Uh, but it's, uh, I don't know, how long has it been since you were playing in that world? Oh, it would have been five years ago in 2019. I remember, uh, I think we were playing Canada in one of the round robin games and, and won in an extra end. And I think that was the game, yeah. yeah. <laughs> got sent a video of you guys cheering us on and <laughs> celebrating when the measure went our way, so. If there's any reason to get booted out of a building, that's a good one. But the place we were at, we didn't think that cheering would be a problem. As it was a local watering hole, but good memories from that. Especially beating Canada, that's never a good thing. We, we appreciated it at the time, so. <laughs> we didn't apologize, I can tell you that. You shouldn't have to. No, not when USA beats Canada, not when your guys win. So two guards up for Shield. Nice come around draw there from Francis Chapman. It's nice to see both of these teams kind of go after it in the first end. Sometimes in juniors you'll see a lot of hits early and center guard and play on. Yeah, we got a 
Three rocks in play after four, all four word draws, trying to set things up to put some rocks in play. Riley Kraft trying to hit through that hole, but does wreck the guard. Now turns into two corners, so that one actually goes all the way into the house. So green light for Chapman. Try to score a few points. And Andrew, you've been in a million of these situations in round robin play where you've played extremely meaningful games to try to get into the playoffs and some games where your seat is already locked in or your playoff spot's already locked in. So talk about the mindset you're trying to keep as you go in, especially a game like this where you really don't have anything to gain. Yeah, sometimes it's harder to get up for these kind of games and, and play your best knowing that the result doesn't really have a huge impact on uh, your final standing and the games later today, but just trying to stay focused and keep that good momentum going because uh, in a couple hours later tonight, you're going to have to show up and, and put your best game forward against another talented team. So, yeah, just trying to stay motivated and focused. Obviously, you have a lot more big games coming up, so um, keeping your eye on the prize, so to speak. And we saw uh, Team Gensel on the men's side in the same situation last night where uh, their spot was already locked in and had a Pretty rough game against Team Rose, but got to try to wipe that one away as it has no bearing on the playoff round except for on the momentum side of things. Here's Kraft, her second in the first end, playing the open hit. Makes no mistake there. I think those games are kind of like you can take it either way you want, where it's, oh, we win, we got the momentum going, or you don't put your best together in the, in the round robin game that isn't as meaningful as other games, and you can kind of say, oh, well, that, that, wasn't, that didn't matter too much. Control. Got yeah. the next one. So Claire Chapman, her second, here in this first end. Always nice for the broadcasters when three of the players have the same last name. If you can pronounce it right the first time, then you're gonna get at least three of them right. This one hangs a little bit and ends up going by. Just up. I believe that was Margan actually throwing there, so maybe a lineup switch from what we have for the roster, if I saw that last name correct on the back. We do see a lot of shuffling of lineups mm -hmm. in the junior championships, so you gotta stay on our toes here. Here's Miranda Scheel, skip of the fourth place finishers from this year's Women's National Championships and skip of our junior national team that went to the Worlds. I'm sure Miranda would be the first to say that we weren't pleased with the result of the week, but trying to finish strong, go out with a win. Did get one yesterday as well. Do you want to chase it or do you want to peel? All right, just throw control, and if you got the guard, that's okay. Good representation supporting this Duluth team here. Sam Perella of Sammy's Pizza fame and many curling championships of his own is in the building. Maybe to heckle Coach, Coach Ross as well, <laughs> league straight, teammates. Straight, straight, straight. This out turn hit attempt here from just a little out, that's okay. Player Chapman. Ends up wrecking the corner guard. Is it in? Is it in? What? Creates a Is nice opportunity for okay. uh, Team Shield to get another rock under the center guard, put some more pressure on Team Chapman in this first end. Yeah, good chance to at the at the least get a force with the way the rocks are set up. Maybe a steal as well. In turn draw, Miranda Shield. Andrew consistently throughout the week, both on sheet A and sheet D, and this is nothing surprising for club ice or even arena ice. We've seen more curl going into the wall and a little straighter coming off the wall and a little faster also on the wall side. So should get a little more curl on this turn that Miranda played than the other. It was well called there to get that rocked where it did. I think you can either corner freeze this or get back to this or like here. I think we have to draw now. That'll be something having each team, I'm, I believe, has played on this sheet before, so. Just like top eight. 
hopefully we'll have a, a, an idea on playing their seventh round round game. Yeah, and hopefully the coaches have discussed that yeah. with them as well. We know Connor, we know Ross and Aiden. We expect nothing less from them. Your father, right Bill Stepera, in the house as well today, Andrew, and yeah, I, I would expect he would remind them of that if they did it too. Yeah, he, uh, if there's anyone who has too much to say rather than too little to say, he's one of those people. But that's just good coaching. Always yeah. be communicating, always be talking. Nice freeze there from third Claire Chapman. That's a good way to get out of an end and maybe still set up a multiple point score. So now paying attention here, looks like Margan is going into the house. So playing second and vicing. I'm telling myself as much as you too, just so we remember for later in the game. So here is Bella Hagenbaugh skipping for Team Shield. Bella's represented the United States already in her young curling career. Along with Sister May. Close curl then. Close curl. Close curl. Close curl. Close curl. Got a curl. Curl. Got a curl. curl. I think she does have Hard some curl. experience throwing the last rock. I think uh, she played with my sister in uh, Yog Playdowns and, and got to do that there. And they had a pretty successful week. So not her first time at this role. That freeze just bounces off a little bit, so maybe a chance for Chapman to get two or three. <laughs> um, I think this is fine as long as you don't leave a double. Well, yeah, I don't want to like nose it, but I think if we do this or do this, it's fine. I'll just I think control yeah. it. I, I think let's try to roll it this way, but if we get that way, that's fine. I think there's fine. I like the the thought of rolling in towards the red and putting the pressure on a freeze. Got to be careful with playing the either or, but not really playing for one of the other. Saying it's fine right. to do either, but really one. play for one or the other. Right, Still enough to be second shot. I think it's but if we roll it, Francis, kind of a tricky shot, shot because um, there's a lot of spots you could roll to that control. leave Team Shield an opportunity yeah. to make a double and get out of the end. So, like, like you said, really committing to a shot and, and getting the roll to the right spot to prevent that chance is important. Ava Shatman, her first of this final round robin game. Yep. Yes. Playing the intern hit and roll. Hard. Sweeper's trying Hard. to hold it as it's crossing Hard. center. Go. It looks pretty good. good. That's really well done, good spot. Now you put the pressure on your opponent to make that draw against the three. And with the score the way it is, Andrew, this point in the game too, I mean, never a bad thing to pressure your opponent in the first stand to draw against points when you have hammer. Yeah, as a, as a skip, um, I know you've had the nine-minute practice, but usually in the first end, the, the freeze against a potential three uh, would not be your first choice of shots. It's a good job by Team Shatman to set up this situation after chasing for most of the end. Now Bella Hagenball looking to lock one on. Does have a little margin for error with the Reds locked close to each other, so you can have a little extra weight as long as you're on the nose of the stone. Sweeper's going immediately on this one. This is the side where we see a little more curl. Really needs to go for weight and line. Doesn't look like it's gonna get there. So all of a sudden, Chapman with a draw for three. And that goes back to that great freeze by third Claire Chapman not, not, to know. set this up. Just like my LSD, which I'll do better than that. <laughs> Two great shots kind of really flipped the end almost out of nowhere to get this, this chance. All right, touching four. I'll give it to you guys. Uh, we're one for sure. I don't know, it might go to a measure. We'll see. Yeah. 
The overheads can be tricky, but it looks pretty definitive that red is two right now. I'll shoot top eight. So Chapman, her final stone of this first end. Looking to draw for very likely three. Needs to just about touch four foot. Soft release. Heard soft release, the call out of hand. Rock's really not turning over yet though, so take a look, should be okay. Line looks good. Four. Weight Get looks good. No mistake made there by Chapman. That does look to be a three. They're going to take a look to make sure. Two for for certain. Jesse, if we need to measure, do a measure. Right, for sure, one, two, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to move these. Well, I hope they measure this one, Andrew, because this is an easy call for the booth, I think. I was thinking red. I do enjoy listening to you try to figure <laughs> out which is closer when I watch the stream. They did call it three, so no gimme for us yeah. on that one. So three in the first for Chapman. They lead 3-0 after one. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Three great makes with the last three for Team Shatman turns into a three-point end. They lead 3-0 after one end over Miranda Shield. Once again, Tyler George here with junior national champion, world silver medalist, silver men's national medalist, Andrew Stepera. Got a lot of medals we could name off. I might just keep rattling more <laughs> off. Usually people don't have a problem with that. I didn't like the silver, the men's silver quite as much. I understand that part, but, yeah. You know. I don't know where some of my silvers <laughs> are, I can tell you that. But it, far enough down the road, you become proud of those things, too. Yeah. I, I understand completely. But the national championship for juniors, that's a gold. Can't take that one away. No. And Andrew, your, your sister competing, too. Just a touch more. Uh, I know what it's like watching a sibling. It's a thousand times harder than playing. So the nerves in the stands, maybe a, a little... White knuckle for you and your father this week? Yeah, it's, it's definitely different than, than playing. Um, like, it's, it's nice to be on the ice. You feel like you have some sort of control, but right. off the ice. And I've also got, you know, my mom's here this weekend, too. Yep. And, and she's probably more nervous than I am, so trying to distract her. And, and Does she do a lot of pacing like my mother did when I played? Yeah, I, she told the story that uh, to me that when we were in the junior final in Korea that I don't think she even w could watch. She was pacing <laughs> the, the concourse inside. That sounds very familiar to yeah. me. That sounds like my mother, too. There is lead May Hagenbaugh for Team Shield. Very solid player. Throws the rock really clean. Very consistent, repeatable delivery. Going to a second corner here. Sweeper's trying to carry it over the hog line. Does not quite get there. I've only practiced, I think, three times this season, Andrew, just to get ready for the cash spiel when I uh, played with Team Wendling. I saw all the Chapman girls there every time I was there. So 
just taking it in a very small sample size. Where are we at? Uh, every time I was in the club, they were there One. practicing. So they're a very hard-working team, obviously. We're uh, proud of them out of our club. Well, okay right now. It's only ever I remember those days when we were rink rats, and all we wanted to do was throw a million rocks a day. The practices, as you get older, are a little more focused. Whoa, but whoa, they would just throw and throw and throw. And yeah, those that's days okay, seem like quite a while ago, too, for us. That's, not, that's fine. Yeah, I feel like they shouldn't feel like they're that far away. I don't know if my body <laughs> can take it anymore, but yeah, it's always good. Like you'd be amazed how much a little practice, how much further it can take you so quickly too. So the fact that these three girls are out there, it, it's great. Yep, along with teammate Jessica Morgan, a great run this week. Saw how thrilled they were last night when they clinched their playoff spot. Maybe some, some tears in the eyes and everything. So, you know, those steps that you take as a young player that matter so much, getting into the playoffs at a, a national championship, not just being here. You never want to say it's house money for your team, but I, I think they're awfully thrilled with where they're at already. We'll see how far they can take it. Yeah, I think, and they're, I think they're a fairly young team, the three sisters, and so... To make the playoffs, you kind of always remember the first time you get your first medal, your first national medal, and your first playoff appearance. So to do that early on, it's, it's good for things to come. Yeah. So Jessica Morgan. Playing the intern hit. Does avoid the backing. Good sweep there. I know Coach Ross Littman, very proud of them as well. I mentioned on earlier streams that Ross taught me my curling delivery. So he's put a lot of time into young players. He, he didn't let me put a rock in my hand until I could slide without one. Hmm. So I fell, I can't even count how many times before I was allowed to even throw a rock. But by that point, it's like, oh, this is easy when you got the rock in your hand, my God. Well, that's the right way to do it if you if you have the time and the patience. And I can tell you, I I had a lot of days I didn't feel very patient doing that. But I thank Ross immensely for taking the time to do that with me, and my father for being involved in that as well. Did you have a a mentor for your your delivery, Andrew, growing up, or was it just kind of piecing it together with other uh, different instructors? Yeah, I mean, most of it was my dad. Being able to go to the club, uh, kind of seeing him play competitively and kind of following which, in his footsteps a little bit. Martin Sather was and also at the Yards okay. Club. He uh, sure. is a national intern. champion okay. with my dad intern. in his own right, so uh, he would help out sometimes. Like but, that. yeah, mostly those Good two uh, growing up, spending time at the club while they practice, kind of joining in. Here is Claire Chapman throwing the intern through the hole. Trying to get it by the guard again. Yes, yes, keep going, keep going. You gotta keep going. Does Good make throw. the hit. Good throw. Bites in the outside 12. We've seen these live striking bands all week too, Andrew. The club members said, uh, Mike Kaplinski told us when he was in the booth here that the Rocks are only a year old. So between the speed of the ice and the striking bands themselves, it feels like watching the Briar or the Scotties or something. These hack waders are just flying out of the sheet, hitting half of a rock. So that's great shot making ice, as you know. Yeah, it's been great to watch all week to see ice conditions like this to allow these players to make all the shots, make the hits and the draws around guards and see the curl and speed. It's it's always something that's nice to have when you show up to any event, and Sean does a great job. Sean Olson, our head ice tech and his crew, so it's great to see. What's that? You're not in our... Do you like the draw or do you like the hit? 
I think it says something to the, the work our ice crew does, that our national ice crew, that everybody that's come in the booth has complimented it and talked about how cons consistent it is, not just through this championship, but for every nationals that we play. And going into it, you could pretty much tell somebody what the ice is going to do before you even step set foot on the ice because Sean's ice is that consistent from what we get. I think this year has been really a testament to his abilities, at least the last couple of years, some of the the places, the, the different places we've had to, to put ice and make good ice. I mean, I know that they held that event in the mall in, in, in Edmonton, but I don't think that was an easy place to, to make ice with the, the conditions and the, and the glass roof. So. No, certainly not. Not just that it was an unusual place, but so many changing conditions yeah. with that glass roof and the uh, when the mall would open up at 11, the temperature would change mm -hmm. because people would come in the building and they'd, I, I think they would turn the, the air conditioning on more when people were around. So a lot of factors they had to deal with. I think they're probably happy just to be in a curling club with yeah. nice controlled conditions made for this event. Miranda Shield, open hit on this rock in the back of the eight foot, maybe trying to roll towards the corner. See if they can repeat what Chapman did in the first. Score three with their last three. Probably need to get the roll to do that. It's going to roll a long ways. Will it bite in the back? That was really weird. Yeah, it clears the house. I think you can get me there. Opportunity here for Team Chapman once again to get a redstone behind their center guard, their off center guard, and put some pressure on Shield. Already up three points in the second end. What are you doing with this rock? <laughs> it's okay. That was just one of the most extreme ones I've seen. All right, we're drawing around that. Okay, oh, we're gonna draw around that. The smell of bacon is strong in the building right now, Andrew. We, we've mentioned that for these morning draws when they're preparing that for the rest of the day. Very distracting. They were making some, some chili yesterday that smelled yeah. pretty good. Popcorn during Food's the afternoon. Very good, and your burgers are great. I may have had a few of those myself. Always curl, always curl, always curl. Ava Chapman trying to play the come around draw. In turn right side, line right looks here. really good. See how far her sisters can carry this one. That's fine. Good That's teaser fine. there, stays above the T line, the most important thing. So good result. I don't think I can get it. Probably eliminates any chance of a two for Team Shield with that placement. Try to dig this out with a soft weight intern hit. You don't really see a whole lot outside of just tapping that stone back, but not much space to tap it to where you could get shot and have a chance to score two anyways. So probably the right call just to play the hit, take your medicine, maybe get a blank out of it. The nice part about these 10 end games, it's a lot of ends to come back. So a lot of time left. Still another eight after this. So Bella Hagenbaugh, her first here in the second. Early sweep again, trying to hold the line. Looks like it's by. Jams on the back yellow. I think is still on the paint too. That's probably I think that's it. I think if we can get the roll, great, and if we nose it, yeah. that's okay also. Nosing's all right. I'll throw control. I don't know what it's exactly gonna do along the wall, so I think you're fine. Okay. 
in practice it was kind of sucking it out yeah. toward the wall. So, so I'm going to be a little careful with it. I think I heard them say it is, it's in, but I thought they were going to put us to the test for the second inning in a row. Yeah, well, that's right, one that we're pretty uh, sure on usually when they're at the top of the screen. So if it's anywhere back. near, so it's, it's no usually okay. in. So even though we can see white can, like, on that overhead, like, I'm pretty certain that rock is in the house. No the control. Team Chapman agrees. Just go nose. So they're just playing for nose. I like the I'm call. So it's a long roll to play too. for, so... You know, you don't want to risk rolling out and still giving up that blank. So nose is a good spot. Final stone yep. of the second yep. for Ava yep. Chapman. Yep. Oh. A little tight out of hands. Yep. Needs to go for contact. They hit a lot more of that than they thought they were going That's to, good. I think. Good sweep there. And and as we talked about too, Andrew, that is probably the straightest line on the sheet. So that helped hold that line as well, but great sweep by the Chapman ladies. Spot where you can afford to be a little tight. Yeah, throwing to the sweepers there is never a bad thing. So final stone, second end. Bella Hagenbaugh playing the hit and stick for a single. On off, usually a good thing. And that is right on the nose. So a single for Team Shield. Team Chapman now leads 3-1 after two ends of play. And after two ends, We'll tell you about Steve's Curling Supplies, America's number one curling equipment supplier for over 50 years, proud to support USA Curling. No matter your skill level or budget, they have all the top products from the most popular brands in the sport. Right now, you can save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more when you use the code USACURLING10 at checkout. Visit us at stevescurling.com for all your curling needs. Shield gets their one, the final stone of the second. Chapman leading 3-1 with Hammer playing the third. Again, Chapman already locked into the four spot in the playoffs. I think we're a touch up. Francis Chapman, first in the third. Francis is a talented singer. And makes great chocolate chip cookies. That's a very important it. skill. The singing's great, but we're, we're very interested in the cookie yeah. part of it. That's the way to get on the good side of, a, of an announcer. Especially when you're in seventh grade, too. Wow. That has to be one of the youngest players in the field, I would imagine. I have a handful of pretty young players. I think the Nia Berg team is all... 14 and under, yeah, around there. Young. I love the way Naya throws the stone. I mentioned that during their game we had. Just very confident, quick, not a lot of moving parts. May Hagenbaugh, she throws like a veteran. Like she's played a lot of games already. 
Gets into the top of the eight foot. How much you got? I don't remember what I was doing in curling when I was 14. I like not this. Definitely not this. <laughs> <laughs> not, not playing at Worlds or anything like that either. Francis playing the intern hit. Sweeper's trying to get it by the guard. A good safe weight to miss the back one. It makes the hit. Nice shot. This will be our Team Shatman info end. We know we've done a few games for Team Shield, but for those that haven't watched, we'll get to some fun facts on their team as well. Here is Riley Kraft throwing the intern. Trying to come around that guard. And Andrew down two without hammer, but still in the third end. No need to panic this early. You'd like to get a steal if you can, but nothing wrong with even a force just to get hammer back. Yeah, I think you start thinking about taking a few more chances if an opportunity comes up, but if there's a blank or if you do force, which obviously isn't a steal, but it's still a good result, you have a lot of time to, to get back in this game and and get it close as it goes on. Where are we at? Is it top four? We gotta throw in one Shatman that's not here because this, I love this fact, and they put it in here specifically for me. My name is next to this. Mary Shatman, who is not here, she's 10 years old. When she beat that. Doug Cameron in the league. Just was a good friend of, of mine and Ross and Sammy's in the okay, club. I really hope yep. Doug is watching and got to hear <laughs> that too. You're telling me we could see the all Chapman junior team? Apparently soon? we're not that far away from it, yeah. Yep. Whoa. 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 Yep. So Whoa. Jessica Morgan. The non Chapman. Oh, yeah. The out turn hit Carl, here. Carl, really Carl, nice Carl, throw Carl, here. Carl, I like that this team is not afraid really to nice attack stones they can only see part of in the house, too. Great That's way. great touch there from Morgan. I think one of the hardest things learning as a curler growing up is those soft weight takeouts around guards. And yeah. It's really easy There's to more say. more hit weights than one. Yeah. <laughs> It's easy to throw like a normal weight and a little harder and make draws, but to really dial in that softer weight is so important. May Hagenbaugh sweeping hard to try to get a good piece of that stone. Does make the takeout, rolls out. It's like Jessica goes by Jesse, according to these notes we'll stick with that here on out works at her family owned greenhouse goes to UW Eau Claire Barron County as a freshman so some local flavor there and here is her second stone now playing the out turn come around draw Really lot. runs on this line. Did like that play in the out turn to come around the outside of it with hammer, but just a really okay. quick straight line there. It ends up going, okay. we believe, through. That was one of those interesting crossroads at an end where uh, Team Shield had a, a slight miss and. Team Chapman had the decision whether to peel the guard and play for the blank or get more aggressive and go for your multiple. Yeah, I think with that rock in the back 12, I like the draw. The, yeah. the guard's a little off the center line, so it's not real dangerous, and it's still early in the game. So I think the, guard, the, uh, the draw is the right shot. Nice line here on this draw by Miranda Shield. Perfectly buried. Well done by Miranda. Do 
Do you want to freeze there or do you want to peel? Do you hate peel? Yeah, I think we should peel. Peel, wait. Claire Chapman yep. now. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Claire was the captain of her high school soccer team, an all-time leading scorer. Wow. Wow. Multi-sport okay. athlete. She, she can't be old enough to be the all-time <laughs> leading scorer, can she? That's, that's quite the skill set. My goodness. She's probably going to be adding on to the total, I would think. She is uh, a sophomore in high school. I'm trying to do the math on that. How, how in the world is she the all-time leading scorer for her high school as a sophomore? I'm gonna have to check with Jenna yeah. and make sure we got these <laughs> facts right. She had a great freshman season. I guess. And I suppose this would be the tail end of her sophomore season. So she played twice, but maybe played in middle school as well. Gotta look those stats up. We gotta see if Jenna can give us numbers on that now too and get really into the, the nitty gritty on these facts. Oh, there's Jenna right there. Yeah, we're. <laughs> you said the sophomore in high school is the all-time leading scorer for our soccer team. That's in the info here. That's incredible. We need stats. We need numbers. We need to know how many goals. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hard. Hard. Thank Jenna Bercheski for Hard. getting all these interesting tidbits for the teams yeah, for us keep too. Going, keep going. Take out attempt, wrecks the guard and ends up rolling right, you're good. through the rings. It's okay. Their team has a dinosaur mascot named Rocky. They said it seemed like a good dinosaur name and they got him in the Rocky Mountains and they also looked to Rocky Balboa for inspiration. So a well-named mascot. All checks out. Did you guys have a mascot when you were, you were playing juniors? Or? Uh, I'm trying to remember if we had anything. Our mascot in men's was basically just Matt. Hmm. <laughs> you don't really need a mascot no. when you already have a cartoon character on your team. But I'm, yeah, I'm trying to think back to juniors if we had anything. Like, I'm sure we had lots of good luck charms and superstitions and things like that, but I don't remember a specific one, really. Bella Hagenbaugh, sitting one already, maybe a chance to get a steal here for her squad. Just playing the guard. That's very well placed. You could consider trying to dig that out through the hole, but problem is it may double wreck the guards and leave the shooter there. All right. It's a lot of interesting options. Like she's signaling, you could draw and yeah. go on the offensive. I don't mind this call either. Yeah, I like it. You can still score two with your last two, and scoring it all in this end is still good with the 3-1 lead. And that rock's only halfway right, in the guys. eight foot. We are just gonna draw under there. Good call. Top eight, top she skip four. Ava Chapman. Enjoys outdoor activities and painting. She's taking a gap year for school, which as curlers, that is not an uncommon thing at all. I took a year off myself when I was in the thick of my junior career. Don't know too many curlers who finished in four years. Yeah. She's one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Intern draw. Going around the outside, this guard needs to get the full eight foot. Sweeper's trying to carry this to the paint, really needs to go to get shot. Still going. Just stops short, gets second count. So now a chance for Team Shield maybe to wrap another one around to the four foot. I like the call here. Best path to get in there to get a second counter, Andrew. 
I like that out turn. Yeah. This is, we've seen a few go deep on this line too. When I say a few, I mean consistently throughout the week for everybody playing on it. But it's a touchy line. You get to the four foot line, it turns over pretty hard. That should not be a problem with this shot. We usually see those straighter spots. You know, the, the curl doesn't take the weight out of it, so it's easy to get tripped up on uh, the speed here. So out turn, come around, draw to the side of the four foot. For Bella Hagenbaugh. Sweepers seem to like it. Line's really good. Just needs to sit for second count. That's a pretty good shot. Buried back of the eight foot. Just follow it. Final player before the end is over. Alternate Lila Farrell. She's training for a half marathon. And plays the cello, but three quarters size. I don't know if you've seen Lila. She's probably three yep. quarters size. Also a sophomore in high school. Got to work with Lila at a junior camp in Denver. You don't want to name favorites too much, but uh, she was uh, such a pleasure to work with, so gracious for anybody's time. Actually wrote me a note to thank me after the event was over that I still kept. Those things mean a lot. And just a four. wonderful, okay. wonderful girl to work with. When we were out in uh, in Denver for the Colorado Cup mixed doubles what? events, Sarah Anderson okay. and I, we actually played them and him, her and uh, Kate and Rose in the sure. mixed doubles yep. quarters, and yeah, they they made it tough for us for us out there. She has a silver medal in club nationals as well too. I don't have one of those. He's sophomores in high school, I'll tell you what. So final stone, third end. Ava Shatman drawing for the single point. Line looks good. It's all on the weight. You got it, keep going. Keep going, yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's really well done. Great touch. Shatman gets the single. They go up four to one after three ends of play. Play the hero shot there at the ends. And speaking of heroes, Warm Room Hero. More than just software, they're curlers dedicated to building long-term relationships with your club. Warm Room Hero provides continuous support to ensure your website exceeds your members' expectations. Check out Warm Room Hero today at curling.club. That's Warm Room Hero at curling.club. Other scores here for this round of games. On sheet A, Claire View and Julia Pekowitz tied 1-1. Sheet B, Ali Giroux with a 2-0 lead on Allery Johnson in the third. That battle for the number one seed, sheet C, Naya Berg. 2-1 lead over Gracia Berg in the third and our feature matchup. On sheet D, Ava Shatman leading 4-1 over Miranda Shield in the fourth.
So start of the fourth. Getting a check to see if this rock is touching the center line. Andrew, would you like to explain the no tick zone rule to the viewing audience? Yeah, recently with the prevalence of the tick shot, they've added a rule where if the stone is touching the center line for the first four stones, five stones, God, I can't even five, remember myself. I believe. We'll uh, that. You can't move it off the line. So if a stone makes contact and moves that, that center line guard off of the center line, the other team is allowed to move it back. They don't have to, but they can. Uh. It's really, along with the five rock free guard zone rule, created a lot more offense in our game. And, and Andrew, as somebody on the competition and rules commission for uh, the World Curling Federation, when we discussed the no tick, we did a lot of polling of players. We weren't really sure what the reaction would be to this particular rule after the trial events that we used it in. And we're surprised that uh, the response is being either positive or indifferent. There really wasn't any negative feedback. The players seemed to like that it made the later ends more interesting and took that tick out of play. So it became a permanent rule after the, the second year that we had it implemented. And don't see it going anywhere now. Yeah, I think teams were getting so good at that tick shot, especially in a tied last end scenario where it ended up just being a pretty simple shot for the team with Hammer to win, and now you see more interesting ends, and when teams get behind the ability to throw some center guards and really get some offense going, it's, it's been great. And it hasn't changed the results of games very much, and so they got exactly what they wanted with the, the rules adjustment is they didn't want teams that had gained that advantage of being ahead late in the game to have a lower winning percentage than they did prior, but the difficulty level of shots at the end of the game was different. So that's the ideal situation, that you're still being rewarded for being in the position like if you're tied up with the hammer in the last end, but still making the end of that game more interesting for the viewers. So the rule did exactly what it was meant to do. It's great for us here in the booth because we get to see those great shots in Absolutely. action. May Hagenbaugh, lead for Team Shield. If you've watched some of the feature broadcasts early in the week, you know we've talked about them. But for those that haven't, May is a four-time rep at the U18 Junior Nationals, three times at the U21s, mixed nationals, gold and silver medalists, mixed worlds, top ten finalists, that's way too long a resume already for somebody of that age. She'd like to get back to the Worlds and, and win gold at some point and get Olympic gold somewhere down the road. And this is the third time I've mentioned this on the air now, and it's, it's very difficult to say, but her, her curling idol is Dean Gemmel. Hmm. Somebody you're very familiar with, Andrew. <laughs> your father's longtime teammate. Loves to golf and run as well. Sophomore at St. Bede Academy. She must have watched a lot of curling in 2012. I would imagine, yeah. That storied 2012 national championship team with Heath McCormick, your father, Bill Stapera, Dean Gemmel, and the aforementioned Martin Sather. That was a fun who, one to run to watch. Who was the alternate on that team for Worlds? I think Craig, Craig Brown one Brownie? time. Yeah. Yeah, we had him for a year too. Never got any of those Craig's, uh, or Steve's curling supplies discounts from <laughs> having him on board though. Yep. I'd have to chat with Control. him about that. I think Craig said, maybe even on his podcast, that he was kind of annoyed they brought him to Worlds because he liked not liking <laughs> them. And I, th I think anyone who knows my dad is not the easiest to get along with all the time. Oh, so I don't know about that. I've always got along very well with your father. He's very entertaining. Not afraid to say what he uh, thinks. I like that. Yep, line. Whoa, whoa. Jessica Morgan, out turn hit. Shoot. 
curling up here towards the end. Just make the stick in the outside. So Riley Craft, second for Team Shield. Riley also has been to the U21s three times, U18s six times. She won the U18s in 2022. She'd like to go to the Olympics for mixed doubles with her brother. That would be a very meaningful thing, I'm sure. Her curling idol, this one's even harder to say, and again, third time I've had to say it, Matt Hamilton. Yeah, she's young. I mean, she's got a long ways to go. There's, the, you know, there's, there's a lot of learning to do. Well, obviously, Matt's a, a good, good idol to have. If, if you're gonna mimic anybody's attitude and energy on the ice, Matt would be right at the top of the list. And as we say it, there's the hit and roll underneath, channeling Matt's energy. It's funny how many of these curlers you see play mixed doubles. We saw, I saw Riley in Winnipeg for an event earlier in the season. It's good to see as the, the discipline picks up. Well, I really like this rock here, so I think we can run it back. I think it's right here, maybe right there. Um, I think you can just throw normal. So just trying to clear the front now, maybe get both of them moving. Claire Shatman, not overthrowing this one. Maybe keep the shooter around, but see if they can get both of these yellows. Good clean throw there from Claire. Just a little misread. You hear the apology from sister to sister. I don't know if you noticed in the background here too, Andrew, but uh, Lila uh, doing some squats. Maybe getting loose to come in the game at the break and get a few stones in. I, I really like that. We always did the same thing our last round robin game if it didn't have any bearing for playoffs for us. Alternate got in the game. Usually we'd have uh, one player play five and then another player come out. So I think like, a, like I would play five ends and come out and Matt would come in. And if it was Joe that was on the team, he'd play the full 10. Usually we did pretty well in those games too. I know we whacked Nicholas Adeen in uh, 2017 in Edmonton doing that. Right in the Just had their number though. We kind of did. You're right on that. No, don't freeze. Hit it. Probably the only team in the world that wanted to play well, yeah, Nicholas. If you hit it right in the middle, you get both. Sports are weird like that. Just yeah, matchups. Having somebody's firm. number gets in your head firm. too. We're very fortunate that of all teams to have their number, that was ours. What? Oh, okay. Do you like the broom then? Okay. Saw that shot from Miranda Shield. Yes! Whoa! Whoa! Right future whoa. for whoa, 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 whoa. Miranda. We'll be watching her for many years to come, I'm sure. Double attempt just gets <laughs> the one, rolls to the outside. You see Skip like Bella Hagenbaugh there. She would love to stand on top of an Olympic podium someday as well. U U21 qualifier four times, U18 qualifier four times, mixed national, silver in 22, gold in 23. Has to have an apple, or apple juice, sorry, for fifth end break. Loves to draw the forefoot. Her curling idol, I can approve of this one, absolutely. Anna Hasselborg. Another Olympic gold medalist and very well respected okay. by her fellow competitors. She's at St. Beat Academy yeah, in Peru, Illinois, yeah, where she's a senior and will be attending Marquette yeah, I like the role this control. Like, no, next fall. Okay. Plans to get her doctorate in occupational doctor therapy. Sure. Okay. It's a field my sister was in. I'm very familiar with that. I know a couple people who've curled out of Marquette. Tom Howell. Yeah. All right. Tommy. Um, 
We'll do an event with Tom in Milwaukee in a few weeks. Looking forward to that. You said control, right? Yeah, yeah, just control. We're gonna throw control here. Try to get a roll under if we can. I think we can, but obviously somebody you're very familiar with there too, Andrew. Spent a little time with him the last couple of years. Bit, yeah. Just a little bit. Abe Chapman playing the out turn yep. soft way to hit. Whoa! Yes! 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 Oh. yes hard hard oh. hard 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 Just papers that guard. It goes through. So a good opportunity for Team Shield to get a multiple point and get back in this game. For a second. Even if we're sticking out here, that's on the end a little. Yeah. No, all we have is that short run. Yep. Bella, do you like the 14 6? I do. Yeah. You like the draw around the outside here, Andrew? It's a draw. Just wondering that myself. My only concern with it would be A, if you're a little short, you can maybe leave a double for them to sit under the guard, or B, if you put it in the right spot and they make a hit and roll on top. It kind of takes away your chance for three, so. Yeah, there's not a lot of space you can throw it to that doesn't leave your opponent a good look, but there aren't a ton of good spots to throw it to here. I mean, you can go out wide on the outturn side. You could throw it in the back of the house on the other side, but that might leave a double and roll. Mm -hmm. So if you can get this to biting top eight, it might be your best spot. We'll see how good the placement is. The line looks good. Looks like they're going all the way to top four. That's pretty good. The roll is not shot rock, so you have to kind of thin it to make the double. Is that too risky? If it goes another foot, that would have I mean, been really good. Can you get good. it coming this way? I probably could. Okay, so if we want to get the double, we have to hit this here. Otherwise, I think we just do that and make them drop. Okay. Very nice shot there so by Bella Hagenbaugh. And just do that if we get the double great. Okay, where but do I we need to hit for the double? It's like right here, so okay. it's not. I think they should just play the hit and roll okay. with normal weight. All right, so I think here's good. Okay. And carrying it that extra six inches is what took the double away. If those were sitting next to each other, as you mentioned, Andrew, then it's a fairly okay. straightforward well, double. Hit and roll on top but just of a little it. too thin for Chapman to risk, and they're just going to try to play the roll now. Super thin, and I, this is the way we need to hit it when it this works. Is Smart call to not play close to that guard where you could give up before and just make the softer hit and roll and concede your two and take the lead going into the fifth end. Ava Chapman's final stone of the fourth. Sweeper's going hard. Maybe they can thin this and play the double after all. Now clears one of them. Does sit for second count. So maybe a delicate hit for three on that back stone. So they will play the hit on the back stone. Only need to play through the house weight. You need to move it a half a foot. So this is one throw to the sweepers. This is one that you could just think draw. If you over curl, touch your yellow stone in the, the eight foot and get your two, it's not bad. But if the weight and line is good, could try the tap. It's a little far out in the sheet, so it shouldn't curl too much. There's a little more curl on this side. The final stone. Fourth end, Bella Hagenbaugh playing the heavy draw, essentially, for three. Looks 
like it's over curling now. They have enough weight maybe to make it with a short run. Not quite enough, but they do get the two. Airing on the correct side. So with that two, Chapman now leading Shield. 4-3 after four ends of play. Four three, Chapman leading. Fifth end of action in our feature game, the 2024 U21 Women's National Championship. Again, Team Chapman already with that number four spot locked up for the playoffs. Team Shield looking to finish their tournament with a win if they can. Top eight, top four. High guard there from. May Hagenbaugh. Close. Line tight. T. Wait only guys. No diet Dr. Peppers yet today. Oh, Andrew, good. we got a little ways to go for. We need that. Only a two game day. This is probably just a one DDP yeah. day. It's an easy day for you, all, all yeah, things this considered. Is just coasting. Morning game, night game. This is the pro schedule now. It's nice they let us sleep in a little bit today after 8 a.m. draw yesterday. Well, some of us when there's four game days are taking that 8 a.m. game off. Some of us here in the booth are not. <laughs> Rory McCusker and Matt Wall, Eau Claire's own Matt Wall, tireless here in the booth for every single draw for this curling stadium crew. Somewhere out there in the ether, John Benton pushing buttons, making sure nothing explodes. It's important work, you never know. Yeah, every once in a while stuff starts moving around on this screen and I know that's John <laughs> sitting at home. <laughs> Thank Top God, because if I had to handle anything, we'd all be in trouble. That's You're going to have to add that a lot less. Line is very, very, very tight. Francis Chapman playing the intern. Really tight. Come Line around, draw. Hard, girls. Hard, girls. Two. you got to keep going. Bring it as far as you can. Hopefully, we'll have a nice showing from... Duluth club members tonight for the playoff game to watch their own. This team, Chapman. The locals from Eau Claire have been out in full force all week long, Andrew. We've had a packed building basically every night. I can tell you, I, I got here to do a broadcast uh, yesterday. Got here 40 minutes before the game started and had to park on the street. And the lot's not small. No. Yeah, we've showed up a couple times to just to come watch and can't even find a, sh a seat behind the sheet that we want to sit behind. And, and we have a large screen in the common area of the curling club that we've had many people watching on, even though they're in the club, they're watching on television, watching our broadcast. And I expect that will definitely be the case for tonight's page playoffs and then tomorrow's semifinal and finals. What would you feel? Uh, 
this yellow one here in the top 12. The guys at the Coming Duluth Curling Club always do such a great job a when your teams okay, are in playoff games at Worlds and at Nationals to, to get the community to come out and watch. It's always impressive. Yeah, I, I, I think that goes all the way across the Actually, curling world. Saying. Obviously, I'm biased from my home club in Duluth, Ava. but who's I know saying? when we were playing in Nationals, World Events, Olympics, There's that we always felt okay. the love, whether it was in-house or from afar from our members. I'll never forget seeing the first time after we won gold the, the video uh, from the Duluth Curling Club was wall to wall people singing the national anthem along with us as we were on top of the podium. And I, I always tell people I didn't get emotional on top of the podium, but I did when I saw that video. That was the first tears I had. So that stuff means a lot. And we're very proud of our young squad here from Duluth. And fun to see things go full circle with Ross Littman coaching them after coaching me when I was 10 years old. I don't know what that says about Ross's age, but. <laughs> You'll have to ask these girls if they know. They, they also had to slide without a, a rock for the first. Yeah, I don't know. That's, they certainly throw the rock good enough that that could be a possibility. So Riley Craft, intern, come around draw. Do hope to see her at the Olympics with her brother someday. Nice line here on this intern draw. That's going to bury right on the T line. Great shot. Well done. Can I just throw something down at the pile of rocks? So Team Shield has something going here, sitting two. Both buried. Okay. Just for like that. Deal? Firm? Firm. So Jesse Morgan playing a slash, trying to at least open this up and maybe get one of these yellows in the rings too. Very close. Jams on the red and just stays there for center. So maybe time to wrap another one in there for Team Shiel, Andrew. Yeah, big opportunity for Shiel, who feel like they've been chasing for a lot of this game, but the chance to get another one behind those center guards and create a really good opportunity for a steal. See Team Johnson and Team Giroux just going back out to start their sixth end right now. They must be flying in that game. So same intern from Miranda Shield. That's Riley Kraft through. This one looks like it has plenty of weight. Generally on that side of the sheet, when it starts turning about 10 feet before the hog line. That's when the weight's right. That one didn't turn until just after. And that coasts right through. Ice doesn't lie. Do you think we should peel those? Or do you want to just draw? What? I don't know, what do you like here, Andrew? Not a bad option well, either way. Good, but My first... The thought would be to open it up and make sure you score, but if you can make that draw right now, it kind of takes a lot of the worry out of the end. If you make the draw, you probably score. You do have the one point lead with Hammer. It's not an easy double peel, and if you make it, then they're wrapping another one in again, even though it's a less dangerous situation, but it doesn't get you completely out of jail to make it. And you gotta hit it probably. Over top, I think. Yeah, over the top is pretty thin, so 
right there. If you do make it that way, you might Good get turn. action on that stone in the forefoot Just too. Turn. That's it. What? You want broom where I, want I think you this yeah. Chapman team with okay. their coach probably talked about what they wanted to try to do before this end, and I imagine with the one point lead in the hammer that Burn. scoring was probably the top yeah. of the list. So I think this is probably the best call to, to try to do that. That's a good result there. Shooter rolls away. That's good. Top rock rolls into the ring, so a good shot. Perfect weight. Claire Chapman, the all-time leading scorer for her high school soccer team. We did get some more information on that that we're not going to give you because it makes the story less impressive. <laughs> we can confirm that she is the all-time leading scorer for her high school. That part is true. She'll get a very good chance to build on that over the next two years as well. Sometimes it's important to not get, let the truth get in the way of a good story. <laughs> no, we didn't say anything uh, was, that wasn't it's, no, true. It's all true. No, it you're is right, true. You're right. There are some other details that could be included, but we're not going to do that. We'll just leave you with the facts, people. The rest of it's just semantics. In turn draw, coming right into the top of the 12 foot. Pretty good spot, but the draw open now because of that double peel on the previous shot. Good shot by Miranda Shield, though, a good line for that one. I don't know, we just threw two peels, so. I think on that one they called a tight guard, but the line was the most important part. Yeah, actually, a better spot in the top of the 12 foot than really the guard. There. It makes the draw a little Always bit tougher. Girl. Where, girls, where? I think it's a touchdown. Okay, we just Actually, we're right here, guys. Plenty of room right now. Whoa. It hasn't really started curling either. I think this is a little more weight than they think. Okay. Settles That's in okay. for second count. Sometimes a little difficult going from side to side after watching Team Shield throw that intern draw and those kind of come off as it curls and then Team Chapman switching sides and not getting the same finish to take the weight off. Yeah, I think if you threw that exact same weight and line on the opposite side, if, it, if the house was flipped, it would have been right on the top of the button probably. You see the clocks there, 21 minutes remaining for Team Shield, 20 minutes for Team Chapman, so no danger on time for either, which again tells you exactly how fast that Giroud-Johnson game must be going. With both those teams undefeated, just playing for the number one seed in the 1-2 playoff game. Hits right on the nose. Now sitting three again. Okay, let it go good. Yeah. I think that's good. I think probably, right? So I mean, they, they, can, they might be able that, to pick. Not what they wanted on that shot, but certainly an interesting spot. There's no easy hit and roll for... Team Chapman to get a stone into a great spot and you could throw the freeze again, but it's against two stones in the forefoot where if you're a little shorter, a little heavy, you could make your life a whole lot harder. Yeah, I think if you're Chapman, you almost have to hit and try to roll in, let them try to freeze. It's not much better option. See what they're thinking. Or else we do this, make them do that, and then we do this. Make a play on it. Because they only get one out of this? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Unless we freeze here, but I feel like that's kind of risky. Unless we play the freeze from side heavy and I bump it a little bit. We just can't be light. If you want to do that, I'm fine with that. I kind of like that. Okay. 
definitely, definitely. Okay. Okay. And even being here is fine. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So playing the freeze, thinking it just need to be there. This is a touchy line to play the shot on too, okay. if you're trying to make when sure you're the there. Freeze, pro side is heavy and like bump. Um, and even if we're draw. If and the we, tendency on these shots, Andrew, is when you're talking about there. making sure we're there and using That's the backing nice. is to throw for the backing, but have broom for the freeze. And yeah. on this particular line with how straight it runs, if you give it just a little bit like extra, this? And okay. this rock could run. So need to be careful with this release. Yep. Where are we yeah, at, Trey? Always oh, 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 oh. so turn okay. freeze attempt. Where are we at? We can't be light. Yeah. Be here. Hard go. Hard go. Go, hard. go, go, hard go, go. Get it there. Get it there, girls. That looks Come pretty on. good now. Go. Keep going. Needs Keep weight, going, though. Girl. Stops in the top of the eight foot. Something they can use, but forces your opponent to guard. I don't like leaving it wide open. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I got you. Yep. Did you guys get a lot of uh, commentators curse? Talking about that one coming heavy and then it. There's been a few, yeah. <laughs> that one's probably on the list. I'll take that one. Uh, it, wasn't too, it wasn't too bad of a one. No, it's not a bad shot. No, it's not. But it would have been a worse curse if I said exactly what happened yeah. <laughs> if they throw that one by. The one that she just threw, if we can half cover it on your side, I love it. Yeah. So I like that they're taking plenty of broom on this shot, Andrew. The, these guards, when you can under curl and finish it, you, know, you see the miss so many times, calling whoa right away and then hoping it stops. You know, taking max broom for guards where you can finish, and it really doesn't matter how deep it is. Much better way to go. For whatever reason, it feels like when you're throwing those high guards to guard something a little off the center line, it's so easy to not take enough ice and see the stone kind of warp to the center. Yeah. That was a pretty good result. Makes the tough the tap a little tougher. Yeah, it's still there, I think, but does Mama, make it more difficult right? for sure. Yeah. Or do we throw this? I mean, the draw is there. I think we can do that. Yep. It is that. nice if they play that wide draw. It's the shot that she we'll played for one point, I think, yeah. just, sure just two ends ago. Yeah. Here? Yeah, pretty much identical. We're really going to need to get if they are okay. playing it wide, tight to that to throw the draw. red, if it's just a draw, back for can they get second? Um, I don't know if they can get shot. If we, we can play the tap if we need to. Might be easiest if you're playing around that red to actually tap the yellow to, to make sure you only give up one. one yellow back a little bit. So you heard that call again so to play the tap guys. if we need to. Uh, my call on my first shot in the way Thinking a little too much multiple yeah, times this I game about here's our two options, either is good when those two really aren't that close to each other what? for the make. So a little okay. more definitive yeah. action Anyways. about what shot you're playing. It's good to know the options, but focus in on what you're playing. So final shot, first half of this game. Where, girls? Ava Chapman Hard trying three. to at least cut shield down to one. Hard. Really close on line. Hard. Line's nice. I think it's by. Maybe pushed it far enough. It's close. Might still be two. One yellow. So they did cut him to one. Great shot there by Chapman just to force the one, or to give a steal a one. So the score now tied 4-4 going into the break. Halfway through, it means it's time for the Broomfitters break. Broomfitters.com is the place for good curling gear and fast shipping on everything curling. 
For a limited time, take 10% off your first order with the code USA. Visit broomfitters.com.
back for the second half of action, our feature matchup here at the USA Curling U21 Women's National Championship event. Ava Shatman, Miranda Scheel, tied 4-4. Start of the sixth end. Tyler George here with junior national champion, Anders DePera. Andrew, we're awaiting this second shot you know of this end. Seeing if we need to remind John Landsteiner that it's always faster after the break. First guard placed well by Team Shield. Okay, they had no problem with it. Well, it's pretty out right. there. You think that'd be something that you wouldn't have to say? Come you would on. think. What? But I think even like, you know, the non-leads make the mistakes. So. Oh, yes. Now, did, did you guys always remind Let's Tommy, like every single okay. sixth end after the break, no matter what? Not sure we've done every every single end, but but every once in a while, if we remember, we well, have to remember too to remind right, him. Yeah, it's tough. So I never forget. I I reminded Steiner every single game, because I I knew it bothered him. And that was fun for me, <laughs> but it's it's never a bad thing just to have that little refresher too. That's just for whatever reason, any given day you might forget and just you know, send one, you know, here in this club somewhere towards Madison. So open hit made there by Team Shield. Does that come around? Did not vary. You see Coach Littman leaning in intently behind the glass there. Second half now. Not yet. Not sure if he's heading back for the club championships tonight. It's going to be on Coach Oldenburg. He's ready to go, and they're in very capable hands. Got to spend a little time with Aiden in Traverse City at the mixed doubles. I hadn't really spoken with him much, but really nice guy. Good to, good company for a, a beverage and hang out, talk curling. Uh, he and he and Maddie had a, a pretty solid week. Tough when you go four and three and you don't make the playoffs in your yeah. pool and don't even really have a sniff just because of the talent there. But It's a cruel game. It is. I do like, I think uh, both Connor and Aiden have played together for maybe in two different seasons, so we kind of get a, a former teammate battle out there. Yeah. We did talk to Maddie, because she's close by, about coming up to do some broadcasting while watching, but... Did not come up for the weekend, so too bad. Andrew's here instead. You can watch at home, Maddie. There's still time. Yeah, there is still time, but spots are running out for broadcast now. People like doing playoff games. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you for the page playoffs tonight, my partner right. will be Olympian, Sorry guys, we got world champion, time too, a bit. and uh, guys, Olympic and world weekend. broadcaster as well, and Swiss Helm. Be no shortage of stories and banter for me and Annie here in the booth too. She had an all right career. She's done very well for herself, <laughs> yes. Tough to beat Annie's resume. Our last world champion on the women's side yeah. back in 03 with Deb McCormick. I'm not sure I want to put him on blast, but Marius Kleinus, who you know, mm -hmm. was going to the House of Hearts last weekend. Yes, and he uh, was there. We were going through the skips who we could play with, and I didn't know. Deb McCormick, world champion. I was like, well, you know. He didn't know. He didn't know. Oh, well, then you have to put him on blast, yeah. Deb, the legend. It's great having her back at the event, too. Are we penciling you in for next year now, Andrew? Are you going to make your debut for House of Hearts? Could. Good. We'll put it in, in ink if you want to come in. Ideally, you know, we, we always say we're the backup plan for the World Championships. So yeah. we'll do pencil. Okay. We don't want it in ink and then jinx your world's birth. 
Maybe we need the jinx, the, the, the reverse <laughs> jinx. <laughs> put it, put it in marker. <laughs> Underline it. Circle it. Exclamation marks. <laughs> well, there, there's your press release. There, Andrew Stapera. Probably maybe our first skip for 2025 <laughs> House of Hearts, with a tiny little asterisk next to it. <laughs> Out turn here from Miranda Shield. Team Shield has put the pressure on Team Chapman the last few ends now, keeping Chapman chasing their stones. This will settle into the back of the eight foot, so maybe a chance to draw now for Chapman. I think they might be hitting the outside rock first. Control. Claire Chapman. Uh, yep. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Playing the intern, trying to roll underneath that yep. guard. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. Hard. Hard. Hard, Francis. Yes. Hard. Whoa. Whoa. That's okay. Not Good a draw. bad Sorry, result. My bad on the call. Tough to get inside on that, but I maybe one you you chat with. The coach afterwards to Andrew, and you're looking at how the house is set up with, with Hammer in the sixth. You're playing to roll underneath when you could just draw to that spot. Because you're, you're not really playing a blank end, and the roll is much more difficult than throwing the draw there, and that rock on the outside probably not hurting you. So just the more direct route to where you're trying to get to. Yeah, especially with that. Back four, back eight stone being buried, you're probably not going to remove that particularly easily. Right. So. They do get the jam. So the roll works out for them. Right to the right spot. to hold the line for the roll. roll. Whoa. Well, that's very, very well good. done. Shot. Great shot. Right Team Shatman, they seem to have an ability to turn these ends around when it looks like they're in trouble. Now sitting two undercover all of a sudden. It's really the mark of talented players sometimes pulling ends and shots. Kind of out of nowhere in the most difficult of times. That's and the mark of a winning team, yeah. too. You're not going to make every shot every end, but can you back each other up, get each other out of trouble? Okay. Four, one. So Bella Hagenbaugh playing the out turn freeze, big shot here. Looking at a couple Chapman counters. Yeah, this should curl plenty. Don't need to make it curl. And speed coming off on that line too. Ends up just top ring. I think it's definitely this too. Yep. It's probably a little early, but have you seen speed come off later in the game too much? Not much. The, the only time where it seems like it's been an issue, and no surprise with this, is on the four game days, right, like the second half of the, the final draw, but it's been remarkably consistent top up to four. that point. Top eight's okay. So I wouldn't expect to see any issues with it for this game or this evening's game, just with the two draw day. Keep calling out the weights. I'm gonna throw it. Sweepers were going on that one pretty much all the way, so I, I think they thought it was short too. Mine's pretty Ava good. Chapman throwing the out turn draw around, really going through the throat. Hard girls, where are we at? 
And that's really the best guard in this situation, Andrew, would be if they can get inside of that stone. Line's really good. Curl it, curl it, curl it. Hard curl. Hard curl. Hard, hard, hard. Ooh. <laughs> good throw. Just gets to count. That yellow tap. Boy, if that gets by and goes another couple inches, they really have him in jail. And just inches away from having Team Shield and a whole lot of trouble. Now just a little bit of trouble. I like the weight call here. I, I mean, back back eight probably is what you want at least. Give yourself a little margin for error, but don't overthrow it so it bounces open. So I, I'm thinking maybe back 12 to back line is your best weight. And you might get a little action off the stones in the forefoot, but nothing that's going like, to overthrow so it bounces somewhere where they may have a hit on it. Yeah, you definitely have some options with this shot if you're a little high of nose you hit it into the red in the top four and get second or if you're a little low and you tick off the one it's next to so very important tap here for bella hagenbaugh looking at three just needs to move that stone a few feet to get count Line should be okay. That's curling now. That looks really good. Great shot. Yeah, great shot. Well done. I think this, yeah. Yeah, you can feather that outside one. Thin. Went right to it, okay. too. I think we just throw a normal copy. Do you think you could play the red on the right back into the yellow for two? Yeah, you could play that one, too. I think the the yellow would probably spill. I'll throw first. This one here, you catch right, it thin enough, that. you could Slash. get three. You just need to make contact with the yellow. And these are always thinner than you think they are, Andrew. It looks like maybe Can a third would be more. okay, and that's probably too thick. So really you want a, a quarter or less with at least firm weight. More? Firm weight. Yeah, this one looks so thin that if you were to keep the shooter, you may not move the, yeah. the stone and the rings out. Final stone of the sixth. Whoa. Ava Shatman yes. Yes. playing this yes. really thin slash. Whoa. Whoa. Needs to curl a little bit now. Hard push, hard push, hard push. Yeah, just swept it a little early and ends up going by. So great tap by Bella Hagenbaugh gets the steal. And Team Shield leads 5-4 after six. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO.
spinning around the scores. The other sheets for this final women's round robin draw. On sheet A, Claire View, 4-2 lead over Julia Pekowitz in the seventh. Ali Giroux and Allery Johnson battling for that number one seed on sheet B, 5-5 in the eighth. Gracia Berg now out to a 7-2 lead on Nia Berg in the sixth on sheet C. And our feature matchup, Team Shield, a couple steals in a row. Take the lead now 5-4 over Ava Chapman in the seventh. This opening intern draw from Francis Chapman ends up going through. May Hagenbaugh's had a solid game. Seems as though by the time we start the commentary for the end, she's got that center guard in play every time already. Sweeper's trying to finish this one to get at least to the eight foot. Not a bad spot from Shep, from Hagenbaugh. And Chapman now will chase that stone. And I like this call, Andrew, in the seventh. Down one with hammer. You can play zero or two. So don't need to pile stones up in the four foot. If you get two or more, great, but you can still keep the blank in play by hitting. You'd rather have that hammer in the eighth. I think sometimes after giving up a couple steals, it's easy to okay. press okay. a little bit. We'll want to get back on the scoreboard, get that deuce, get back in the lead, and you don't have to, especially it being the seventh end. Yeah. Makes contact, does roll out, so another chance for Shield to get underneath. In turn, come around draw for Riley Kraft. Riley also with a very steady delivery. Rock comes out clean. Nice shot there from Riley right to the T line. So Team Shield keeping Team Chapman chasing again. Seen Riley make a lot of those intern draws today. Well, front end has been sharp. Jesse Morgan trying to follow that one. Same path. We gotta be here. Yeah, you gotta go then. Yep. Always curl. Always curl. Always curl. Where? Can you curl it? Uh, just no. Bounces just okay. a little bit. Early sweep may have bruised it a touch. Good throw there from Morgan. Throwing on the same side again. Can bounce off of that Chapman counter if they need to. Just throwing the draw, letting her throw the same shot again. Not a bad result. That Redstone still backing, but. Want to do this? I don't mind that. I also okay. don't mind Chapman peeling. can get inside. You don't mind peeling? I think you do this now. Okay, uh, just like pack weight or back line. Okay, back back twelve. So 
Morgan playing the back house weight bump and roll. Needs to get to the inside. No, stop! What are you doing? Just coast by on the outside. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be upset. Just you're not communicating anything, and then you can't like. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know that communication was going to do a lot with that one, anyways. <laughs> in defense of the sweepers and the skip but yes you do always want to communicate weight as you go down it was a little quiet for that shot i think that's the uh right there's the difficulty about playing with family yeah. i know playing mixed doubles with my sister she would have some choice words about my attitude every once in a while she's pretty much always right that's when i knew i needed to shape up a little bit It's a lot easier after the fact, but in the moment, you're, you don't want to hear it usually. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Over curls a little bit, but does line up. Interesting guard setup. Do you, I guess you probably still have this, right? Yeah, do this. Just throw like back line weight. So same type of shot here. Trying to get to the inside. Yep, line. Yep, line. Hard straight. Hard, Hard line. Straight. Claire Chapman. Hard line. Hard, Hard. Hard. Go. Sweepers trying Hard. to hold it. Not too bad. Rolls to the open. Yeah, I, was, I knew that. I was just like. Sitting first and third. Good throw. I like this. Okay. I have six sevenths of it. Okay. okay. Like. Could leave a tap and, tap and roll to lie to. We can switch it if you want. Yeah. Let's get to the other side. Okay. Miranda Shield, the out turn tap. See if she can move that stone back and roll in a little bit. Getting it to move a little bit is craft. Bounces off and sits top four. Good position there. If you're going to try to clear these, you need to catch that yellow on the button kind of thick to get it over the top again. I actually needed to curl a little bit. Yeah. All right. Probably would have moved your back one too, but now that yellow is just about dead welded on that red on the button. One interesting thing I've seen with the Chapman team these last handful of shots is that I think they're close to two minutes, a minute and a half behind Team Shield in time, and they've kind of you have uh, Claire firing out of the hack. Seems like they maybe do seem to be rushing a little bit. Yeah, could maybe take another second in the hack just to to focus. I know that's something that I've done as a curler too. It's easy to put it on yourself to catch up in time for the team and not really take that extra second to breathe. And yeah, to make up the time, you like to do that with the in-between things, not with your pre-shot routine. You know, anytime you don't go through your normal processes. And that can that can definitely throw you off. And they are playing pretty quick out of the hack. So I believe just a guard here from Bella Hagenbaugh.
That's a good spot there. And that's the pro side guard that we were talking about earlier, Andrew. You can always finish it up. You just need to take away that side of the shot. No port there or anything. So that's well done. Going to school a little bit from their earlier guard a handful yep. of ends ago. They seem to think that the guard wasn't good enough. Yeah, I mean, that is a really wreck, tight port, and you're just clearing your own stone anyways, and then your opponent's wrapping another one around. So I think you're kind of hoping you wreck. <laughs> yeah. You're very likely giving up one almost no matter what happens these last few at best. Ooh, almost got your best case scenario yeah. with picking that yellow one. Not sure I like it, but would you ever try to get a second counter, make the freeze? You, you certainly could. As long as you don't move the, the redstone, it's hard to hurt yourself. But if you make this guard, I mean, you're almost assuredly scoring unless Chapman makes the, the in off, off that winger, which would be for three. So you combat the shot for three by making the freeze. I, I think if this was a, a game you or I were playing in, then that second counter might not be a bad idea. You'd definitely be eyeballing that in off and what your worst case scenario is. So final stone for Bella Hagenbaugh. Seventh end. I'd like to see Chapman play that shot, so kind of hoping that this guard <laughs> is made. Yeah, the port is there. So you could fire it and lose that stone. That's a matter of. If you catch the red rolling out, or you could just throw it with big weight and try to hit four fifths and have the shooter stay. There's only a tiny bit of separation. I was really hoping for that in off, though. <laughs> Would you be tempted to throw it anyways in this situation, no Andrew? If this is you throwing it? based on no, what you have available no. through the port? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I think the score is really important right here. Stay in the game, especially with three ends left. Maybe if it was the eighth or ninth end when you're running out of time to get in a good position. But yep. Yep. The final stone of the seventh, Hard. Ava Shatman trying to pick Hard. this yellow stone Hard. off. Hard, Francis. See how far it goes. Oh, very close. It ends up still being a steal of one. Third steal in a row for Shield. They now lead 6-4 after seven ends of play. And USA Curling would like to take this moment to thank the curling community for supporting the sport and the national organization, whether it's through your membership, donations, or volunteer hours that help our game grow. Your support makes many of our efforts possible, whether it's the webcast coverage you're enjoying right now, the Our House content platform, certification programs for instructors and officials, or the Athlete Outreach Initiative. On behalf of USA Curling, thank you for all that you do.
here. So five straight points for Team Shield after trailing 4-1, including three steals. They now lead 6-4. Around draw here no, for Francis team. Chapman. Hey Claire, can you come here? Okay. Settles okay, in. Right. Not bad. Fighting back four. Out turn freeze attempt for May Hagenbaugh. to curl here. Rock really curling now. Kraft getting it to turn over. Yeah, pretty good sweep to get it there. Nice weight from Hagenbaugh. Chapman going right in, trying to get there two or three. Oh, like how much? Back line, back line. Oh. Uh, Maybe half. Uh, 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 there's nothing really you can do. Maybe just go straight to keep it off it. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, just a little just too much far. weight for that one. up going by what do you like, then? yeah I've leaned on the wall like that many times trying to figure out what to say to anybody yeah what to say to yourself yeah leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> I know what I did I know so shield now coming into the house again I believe Riley Kraft, the out turn side. Just finishing up nicely on this line. Pretty good result. Yeah, staggers it well. And that situation too, Andrew, with the red stone in the back of the eight foot and your stone on the back of the button with this score, you always prefer, a, I don't even want to say guard, but uh, you're yes, protecting yes. rock yes. to be in the house as opposed to short. It's hard. it's hard to put it in a spot that hard. helps you a lot up front. Hard. So I like throwing that stone in the rings. Right. And nice to, to keep get another counter in there and keep the angle where your yellow in the back is tough to remove. Yeah, no, I like that call. I also don't mind that with like nice double made there by Margan. Now it's your stone as well. Make them replace. And if you if you end up playing that shot again, now you're playing your own rock back, and maybe you can still set yourself up for a two or a three. And Chapman's chasing right now, but they really are one good shot away getting a, another counter in there, where you start to get a little nervous if uh, your team shield. Yeah, we mentioned it earlier, Team Shields front end has done a really good job of making shots early and and dictating the action, controlling the the angles. I just don't think there's any way. If you want to try it, go for it. And if you get the guard, you get the guard. 
Yeah, they're looking at that Let's port, which I don't believe is there. And so they're going to play the guard yeah. instead. But you don't need to play the peel on the guard here, too, if you are. I think they're just playing the yellow one. But you, know, you could tap that red up and open that side up, make that rock a little more lonely in there, too. We're going to get that one. That's fine. It actually works out because I was going to have you stop, and I was going to call that one anyway. <laughs> <so. laughs> That's good. I'm glad you made the shot you did because I was going to tell you to play it, but I didn't. So it works out in the end. It's probably teammate telepathy. I was going to say sister telepathy, but that's the only non-sister on the team that was throwing it. It's a lot of positivity. I don't think I'll ever see you know Mark Fenner after you do that. He wouldn't come up to me and say the same thing. <laughs> So she will now going on the defensive, hitting this counter in the back of the eight foot. And rolls away, so now door open for Chapman. Just control. No. Yeah, no, I watched it the whole way, so yeah, no, you, yeah. A little tight out of hand. All right, we're peeling. Yep, keep going, though. Hard, girls. That one will yep. be on the guard, but now only That's one rock in play. Stone on the back of the button. If you don't count the one that's two inches off the boards by the back line, which is technically in play. More of a tripping hazard than anything. Yeah, we don't like those stones back there. Probably not going to matter. and Just something to step over. So guard from Miranda Shield now. Try to carry it to cover a piece of the stone, even if it goes in the house. Well, they brought that a long ways to get it to where they did, but. Hit and roll is still there. Is that it? Okay. And one maybe you'd like to see with the hair less weight, Andrew. You can make it with control, but just have very little margin for error as the shooter. Yeah, it's always nice to throw these shots with the border hack just to bring sweeping into play, too. That's good. You're good. You can make the hit rolls away a little bit. That is something we've seen with, with Chapman fairly consistently throughout the game, too, is that in-between weight, the hack and board, you don't see very often when you're just trying to control the shot. You know, they tend to go to control weight when they're playing something precise. And they're very accurate with it, but if you can't see the whole stone and you're throwing more than board, then it makes the shot a lot tougher for person throwing the rock. Yeah, I think we've seen them make a couple ones around a guard, but as you're saying, as you kind of play more, having the opportunity to sweep it, get away from, remember when I first started playing with Luke Violet, he used to be of the school of thought of, why don't we just put the, the broom on the center of the rock and throw peel <laughs> for the nose hit, but the sweeping factor is kind of nice. Would have fit in well with Mike Paplinski's former teammates, Tim Somerville, <laughs> Mike Schneeberger. Heard a rumor Schnee might be around this weekend at yeah. some point. They were the first I can remember in the U.S. that that was their hit game style. Just put the broom where you want to hit it. You, know, you go back to the 60s and 70s, you did that because it was that straight. Didn't matter what weight you threw. These guys with peel weight. Just, yeah, put it there. That's where we're going to hit it done. I don't know if I'm good enough for that. To, I need I, the sweeper. I'm not, yeah. Give me my sweepers, please. 
That's what I've told uh, Mark all offseason. You need to get better at sweeping so I don't have to get better at shooting. <laughs> Hit and roll attempt for Ava Shatman. Take it roll, 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 roll. Doesn't quite get there. That's Stays good. open. Rock was trying to get there. One more opportunity for Bella Hagenbaugh to get the roll underneath and put some pressure on Shatman for the last shot. I think this is good. If this ends up nosing or rolling out, Andrew, are you... Are you still playing the blank down by two, or are you taking the point? I think I'm still playing the blank. I think down one without the hammer and nine, your win percentage is a little a little lower. I think so. You never know with the hammer. You could maybe get a three or a two and then steal the last. We'll see if Hagenbaugh can make it a moot point by rolling in, but... This one's on the outside. So it sounds as though Chapman wants to take the point. So your ideal situation then is, unless you can steal more than one, or almost be to force to one and then try to get your three afterwards. I think in the junior game, they feel very comfortable trying to steal, too. So Ava Chapman's final stone of the eighth, just playing a hit and stick. Yep, 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 yep. Whoa, 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 you're good. Just clean, clean. just clean, just clean. That will be right on the nose. They take their single after eight ends. 6-5 the score, Shea leading. May need a heroic effort in the last end or two for Chapman to come back and win. And other heroes, we've been talking about all week, warm room hero. They're more than just software. They're curlers dedicated to building long-term relationships with your club. Warm room hero provides continuous support to ensure your website exceeds your members' expectations. Check out warm room hero today at curling. First stone of the ninth, like just right to the back of the forefoot. So easy decision for Bella Hagenbaugh, rightly playing the hit. Sister May Hagenbaugh. Sticks around. Chapman now following with another hit, so it'd be difficult to steal without yep. Yep. guard in play, Andrew. I guess deciding we didn't get the setup quite like we wanted to early, so let's try it again the next end. So this may be a very quick end. 
Team Shield very happy to continue trading hits here. One thing it will help the time. Uh, not that it looks like to be an issue, but. Uh. Yeah, they neither team in any kind of dire straits for time. Plenty of time on those clocks, especially with hits being played. Yeah! Yeah, guys, yeah! Whoa, whoa! Just clean. You guys are cleaning really weirdly right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know if you can hear that, but Ava Chapman saying they're cleaning weirdly. You get both sisters taking a half of the stone. Uh, are they using the, the knob end of the broom to do <laughs> it? Just blowing in front of the rock? I, I, I think they're doing okay. Just enough contact. So now going to the guard. Gonna have to hope for a missed peel to have an opportunity yeah, to I use like, it. She said, she said the guard, and I don't know what she said. A little bit Margaret of a. Throwing. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Andrew. It's a little bit of reversal of what we've seen with. I feel like we've had a lot of Chapman hits lately and shield draws, and I'm gonna switch it up. a tight guard just off the center line. Here with this situation, Andrew, they're, they're thinking because it's so tight they can roll on and you'll have to think about it if it's necessary or not. Like what are you gaining from doing it outside of having a stone in the house that you, your opponent may or may not hit. I mean, if they think they're going to throw another guard, then it's that's a good shot. But your number one objective has to be make sure there's no guard in play. And now ends up nosing. So you that's what you bring into play, playing that normal weight instead of just peeling off. Yeah, I think the, the cautious person in me would say it seems that Chapman's okay with the blank, and we're obviously really happy with the blank, so let's just make sure the stone goes so they can't use it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that's cautious. I'd yeah. say that's just <laughs> the right thought process for this situation. Whoa. I, I just don't think you should touch it. Goes to the back of the eight okay. foot, open. Hagenbaugh wisely rolling away from the guard in this situation. Out turn hit for Miranda Scheel. up rolling in so there's your opportunity now for team Chapman if they can make the freeze does bring the steal into play and maybe a force at worst which would also be a good result either team scoring one right now is a better result for Chapman than it, a blank would be. Yeah. 
Shirak coming up short too, but will serve as a guard. Could see Team Shield switch up and play the draw that Bella just mentioned. Get a little more aggressive. The double peel is still there and Play the draw. So really trying to end the game here in the ninth end, playing this shot. The guards don't really set up real well for a double peel. And if you're peeling, as odd as it sounds, you'd be peeling the yellow one on top of your own, as the red guard is less dangerous in that situation. So I, I don't mind the draw now, just because of the way the rocks are set up. Oh yeah, it seems like you could play the double peel and make the double, but leave a, a guard right on the center line, and it could even be worse for you if you were to play that double, so. Yeah, that comes deep, so the freeze still there for Chapman now. So in turn side. Another opportunity for Ava Chapman. He's made a lot of clutch draws today. How do you like the broom? Do you like the broom, Jesse? I don't know. I think it's okay. First shot of the ninth, Ava Chapman. Trying to make this intern freeze. Yep, line. This straight. Like maybe a little soft Hard on the release. Always straight. How's the weight? Okay, well, always curl really good. Okay, you curl now. The line curl looks now. good. Hard gotta be here. Gotta it's be all about four. the weight. Gotta be full four. <laughs> gotta be full four, girls. Gotta be full four. That line's you got perfect. It. You got it. Just You're needs doing to go. Great. Keep going. You're making it really nice. Great shot. Far enough to get shot. Nicely done. Chapman sitting one. Thank you. Great shot and great sweep by the front end there. want to if you're going to run this you want to run it to the inside of the red stone if you run it to the outside the shooter's going to stay there and it could push it under both guards if it doesn't hit right could you ever play anything with the out turn softer through the hole and nudge the red over a little bit you, you could get through it's that's a tight port i, I think i prefer this just to try to at least open this side up. Give yourself a shot on your last. Yeah. Yeah, you want to hit maybe seven eighths on the high side to get the right action on that stone. Anything that makes contact on the inside of the red is a good result. In turn run back for Bella Hagenbaugh. That's just gonna end up being a peel. Chapman looking to throw the guard. Well, I'd be awfully tempted to throw another one right on top of those two with the score where it is. You know, in a tie game, the guard absolutely, but the down by one, you're gonna have to steal again, even if you get this one. 
Yeah, that's more and more why I think you are right that the peel on the last one is the right shot because it's so difficult to get a second counter in there on yeah. this one. You're almost assuring yourself that worst case you're going to be tied up with the hammer playing the last end if that guard's gone. There just isn't a really good spot for Chapman to go in that doesn't give you a crack at it. Just throw in the guard. Over and up, over there and you up. see that yeah, guard being up. thrown on a tight line again, Andrew. Guys, over and up. They saw. Yeah, just not taking enough broom for that shot and making sure you're on the outside. Easy on those two to, you don't want to overthrow it and you don't give the same add and extension and maybe lose some, some straight. It's probably still just a draw for one. Maybe could cross that stone with back line, chip the inside and roll in and maybe make the second one count. I'd be okay taking a slight chance to try to score multiples, being that if you do miss, you're tied still with the hammer, but it's yeah, got to be there. With the way they're yeah. angled, I'd, I'm not yeah. sure that you could get more than one. Even if you crossed it, if it touches the yellow, it's kicking off that way to the left. Yeah, it looks so pretty difficult. I think they're just playing the hit and roll in. Hard to tell <laughs> with where the broom is. They could try to make this a couple different ways. Final stone, ninth ends, Bella Hagenbaugh. Playing soft weight, hit and roll in. Kraft getting it to curl. Looks like it should be good. And they do get the single. So Shield takes one. They lead 7-5 going to the 10th end. Miranda Shield with a 7-5 lead over Ava Chapman. After nine ends, Chapman will have Hammer in the 10th. Final round robin draw for the women. Let's take a quick look at the playoff bracket here for the, the men. In that game one, qualifier one, qualifier two, will be Hebert and Senzali. On the bottom half in the page 3-4 game, Gensel will be taking on Church. There you see the winner of 3-4 will play the loser of 1-2 in the semifinal. The winner of that game will play the original winner of the 1-2 game for the national championship. Page playoffs will be tonight at 7 o'clock for both the men and the women. One end to play, possibly, here in this final feature matchup on the women's side. Tyler George with 
Andrew Stepera. Andrew, we were debating between ends whether or not you actually want to make that shot if you're Team Shield. Maybe a preference thing if you're not looking at percentages, if you'd rather be up two without or tied up with. They elected to take the point and take the two point lead. It's certainly more simple sometimes. Not that there's a wrong decision, but tied with the hammer. You don't have that worry about giving up a three and usually it's a little more straightforward with the hammer, but I think it's pretty similar win percentage wise in general, so. That rock ends up going through. This good start to the end for Team Chapman now with no danger stones that you have to move around. Corner guard up on one side, going to the opposite side too. Line's pretty tight, guys. Where are we at? Yes, let's go through it. All right, are you over? No. All right. Um, yeah, We're over. It's over and up, probably. You can keep going a little bit. Or no, just no, just don't. Yeah. Uh, Two corners up. Right now. Chapman has their guards. Shield now playing to the center, which may take the draw paths away to the corners a little bit. Riley Kraft, her first here in the 10th. Like to get this as tight as they can. They think tight to the rings isn't too bad. If you're in, they can hit and roll on behind the corner, whereas now you can draw, but that center guard is still there in case Team Shield needs it later in the end. Yeah, it could be you're out if you're Team Shield. Obviously, you're still playing defense with this two-point lead, but not able to peel yet on that shot. So Chapman having Jesse Margan go under the corner guard. Ends up a little bit short, now blocks off that port. Seedings are set for the women's playoffs now. The 1 2 game will be Giroux taking on Johnson. And 3 4 Pekowitz will take on Chapman. Again, those games 7 p.m. this evening, Central Time. All games will be streamed with one feature, just as we've had in the round robin. Nice peel there from Riley Kraft. There you see those brackets. Giroux by virtue of a win in the final round robin game over Johnson will be the one seed. Pekowitz will be the three regardless of the result in this game. Taking on Chapman. Seven o'clock tonight for those playoff games. Looks like Andrew Shap going out wide to go around these guards. Okay, line's fine. This might be a tricky shot on the straight side. Yeah, not a draw that we've seen yet out this far, so a bit of a guess. Well, it looks okay, guys. Actually, yeah. Looks like they're trying to finish for line and for speed. Trying to get it to the eight foot. Got job. shot rock out of it. Nice yeah. guess there. Really good shot. Very good shot from Mar Margan. Certainly made that look a lot easier than it actually is. is 
Shield now peeling this guard, trying to open side up. Good shot from Miranda Shield. So number one counter open. Yeah, I do. I think so. so playing the intern draw around. Just have to be careful with the placement now on this shot. With that red will be right next to the other counter. You don't want to leave a double. goes right by to a biter in the back of the 12 foot. Right. Yeah, they're lining up the double, but Andrew don't really need to play to that back stone if you're giving up the, the four foot. Be real roll. tempting to roll to the button here. Yeah, rolling in, you really take control of this end. I think they changed their minds now and are playing a roll in. So 10 5 the call on the weight. Shield trying to roll middle. Looked like that might have been babied a little bit on the release, huh? Heard them say they're taking minimum ice on this straight spot. Ooh, it goes by. Just didn't quite get out to the stick there. Even with that straight line, still got to get to the target. Well, I like the out turn here coming around the other side to the center. That would be your shot. If you're down in the backing, it's okay. Good call there by Chapman. Spreading these counters out a little bit. You kind of have to just assume that that red stone on the side of the eight foot is dead. And you got to try to score three either with your last three throws or somehow make that biter in the back count. Yeah, guard your opponent goes underneath, so you really don't have much choice but to play this shot. Yeah, they can go. Hard gotta be there. Hard gotta go. Trying to finish for weight and line. Hard. Try to get partially buried. Keep going, keep going. Just you, just you. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's okay. Bad. That's pretty good. This will be another attempt at that hit and roll. Great sweep to get that edge to edge to make it so if you do play a hit on it, the jam is in play. Mm -hmm. So hit and roll attempt. Bella Hagenbaugh. Don't want to roll too far here either, Andrew. If you roll all the way close to the center line, they have that short run in with the red. Just side fours, I think, would be your ideal roll. Doesn't quite get there. So red's still sitting one. Even if you get to nose with this shot, it's probably good enough because it's very likely that Shields chasing the one on the opposite side anyways. Whichever one's open, you just don't want to leave a roll in. So nose or an inside roll would be good. And here's the weights we were talking about earlier. You really have to play hack to make this shot. So see what kind of weight control Chapman has here. Yeah. 
here. The buzz in the audience. The building is jam-packed with people right now. There's a men's practice coming up right after this game. Some hack-weight attempt here from Chapman. Sweeper's trying to hold it. Very close on the line. Oh, gets by, great shot. Can they get it out too? Oh, Very that's good. just perfect. What a shot by Ava Chapman. Really great shot. Thank you. Great sweep from her sisters. That's perfectly done. Timeout being called. Minute 36 remaining for Shields. So with the timeout and the time left on their clock, shouldn't be too much of a rush. This gets really interesting because you could just get rid of that red and concede the two, but is there ever a shot for three if you do that? I think there is. <laughs> so this is very dangerous. You need to stick around playing this too if it if you hit it through the hole, the shooter rolls out. There is a tap for three for the win. If you clip the back red playing this shot, that's your ideal situation, just making that double. There really isn't a good spot to hit it otherwise. No, definitely not a lot of room for error on this one. A very delicate shot here for Bella Hagenbaugh. A little more than half you have to hit. Can't throw it too hard. Her final stone here in the 10th. Early sweep on this one too, this is curling. Trying to get to the inside. Well, that's really good. Actually got close enough to the guard to not lose their own yellow. There is a shot for three still. If that red is biting, slashing the yellow over the top of the other yellow. He might be able to even be able to get it the thick way and save the shooter and just move it back a little bit. Yeah, I think there's two ways you can hit that to make it. I'd love to see a timeout here. They have one left. I think Coach Ross, yep, there we go, there's the timeout. Ross Littman come out to talk about this one. They are lining up that double. I, I think you're right too, Andrew. I think it is there the thick way. I'm sure Ross will tell him, yep, we're playing for the win right here. I think, you know, the implications of this game aren't massive. I think you give it a whirl. Absolutely, yeah. Play for the win right now. make it with the slash. Yeah, what do you guys think? Like, do, do you want to go for it now or do you want to just draw? I mean, I'm just thinking because I missed a hit like this earlier. I feel like you want to redeem yourself. 
It was just there. Go ahead and make it. <laughs> it stays there. There you go. Line it up. Aggressive. That's really aggressive. I mean, why not? I don't think I love it, but I don't know what I love. <laughs> I mean, even if you accidentally, if you overcurl hit nose, we still get two, right? So, we just can't, we just have to make sure we stick it. You gotta throw it pretty quick. This <laughs> feels so much more, like, but this is so not me. She's a little frazzled right now. And you gotta remember too, win or lose this yeah, game changes right, nothing. Just play it. There you go. Atta girl. Just make it. And as you play more too, Andrew, and right. you see these situations and percentages more, they'll realize that you have the shot to win right now. If, even if this was for the national championship, this is the shot you play. Drawing for two to tie it up, you're still gonna have to steal on the extra end. You have it in your hand right now to win the game. It's absolutely the right shot to play. Just need to hit a butt. Three quarters, two thirds. Final stone. Tenth Whoa. end. Yep, yep. Whoa. yep. Whoa. Very close. Yep. Just yep. needs to yep. get up a little yep. bit, really close. Oh, okay. just papers by. Almost made it. That will be a seven six final. Shield yeah, gets the win. Great shot okay. by. Bella Hagenbaugh to give them that chance to win. Andrew back and forth the fair. It's now uh, for Team Chapman just have to regroup and get ready for the playoffs. Yeah, I think they, they had a well-played game. Just a couple of missed shots here and there, but take a couple hours off and, and get ready for a fight tonight. So they will have a practice in the afternoon to get themselves ready, I believe. But tonight's page playoffs for the men and the women, both. 7 p.m. tonight, we will be back here to broadcast all four games. For Tyler George, Andrew Stepera, Curling Stadium crew, thanks for watching. We'll see you for the playoffs tonight.